Oh, oh, shit. Hey, watch me on my face. Uh, uh, honey, let it go. It ain't working. Give me your no, fire. Watch me on my face. 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 Watch you love this man, you won't forgive me, but you might even forgive me. He got a gun, he got a gun. There's a baby right there, there's a kid oh my right God. there. Oh my God. There's a kid right there. Oh my God. Don't get the baby, come here, baby. Hey, your baby right there. Stop, your baby right there, your baby right there. Stop, somebody go grab the kid. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely outstanding big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the trey king show family and much love to each and every last one of you all and you all yes once again we have a story out of north carolina by way of thomasville and big shout out to everybody in the great state of north carolina everybody in the great city of thomasville now before i start this story i want to send a special thank you to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story and also keep these stories coming and also i want to send a special shout out yes to the North Carolina beat, and also you keep those stories coming. Also, now this story right here comes to me by way of the North Carolina beat, and also my channel members, and also my subscribers. Now this story really has me pondering and wondering how in the hell do you allow yourself to be with people like this? I don't understand. Look, let me tell you this: you cannot change people. You have a choice to be with somebody, just like they have a choice to be with you. Now, as you all can tell in the video, and I couldn't show the whole video, so if you want to see the whole video, you have to click the link below, and it will take you to the whole video. And I must warn you, the video is very graphic and somewhat disturbing, even though, even though the woman in the video who goes by the name of Whitney Nicole Dow, and also the guy that you've seen attacking the woman, he goes by the name of Joshua Dumas, Whitney Nicole Dow held her on ground. Now, from what I heard from people who know this couple says, that this is an ongoing thing this is a reoccurring event with them it's just like they always fight every other week or something over mess now also i was wondering how in the hell did whitney catch her boyfriend joshua cheating now did he come to family dollar with the woman or was the woman already working at family dollar he was cheating with and somebody dropped her the dime and she pulled up out of the way it go whitney nicole pulled up and guess what Yes, they were throwing them bowls. And I'm going to say this right here. As you all can tell from that picture, just like this, you see Joshua doing this. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. You don't know how to fight if you have to hit anybody like that. But no man should hit a woman. And guess what? Women, you don't hit men either. But at the same time, you teach people how to treat you. You get what I'm saying? We teach folks how to treat us. So just remember that. The way you start is the way you finish. And the way you teach people to treat you is this right here. You know, people will only do what you allow them to do. So guess what? If you allow a person to cheat on you, guess what they're going to keep doing? They're going to keep cheating on you no matter if you fight them or not. The thing is, you have a choice. You must demand better. If they don't want to act right, if they don't want to stop doing what they're doing, guess what? You have to leave. But the main thing of this right here is that remember this, you have a choice. Now, Whitney Nicole has a child, and that child was present while this violence was taking place, while this couple was fighting each other. In the nerve of the boyfriend, Joshua Dumas, after he's getting his butt beat by the woman, Whitney Nicole, and also Whitney, look here. I heard you went to jail. They charged you with assault with a deadly weapon. I don't understand how they charged you with assault with a deadly weapon when this guy Joshua Dumas pulled a gun on you. Talking about allegedly. No, it's no damn allegedly. He pulled a gun out. He got a gun. He got a gun. And what's so sad, and to show you how much this man really care about you and your child, guess what? He pulled a gun out right in front of your child. Now, I understand that maybe he wasn't intended to shoot anybody, which he didn't, thank God. But at the same time, though, guess what? It's a thing called mistakes. Mistakes happens. Now, what if he would have just gently just pressed that trigger finger a little bit and shot you or your child? Guess what? It'd be a whole murder story. You see how things lead up? So what you have to do, number one, stop thinking about this no good man. Think about your child. Think about yourself. And ask yourself this right here. If this person really loves you, would this person hurt your heart like this? Would this person do you like this? And if you come to the answer yes or no, hopefully you will make the right move. But anyway, We'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion, all of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, woman arrested after boyfriend beats her after catching him cheating at a family dollar in North Carolina. Now, what's up with North Carolina with all this damn cheating? I just did a video about two weeks ago where we had a pastor, I think a bishop, Bishop Carter, something like that, was cheating with another pastor's wife. And if you ain't seen that video... Go check that video out. So evidently, and this not to everybody in North Carolina, you get what I'm saying? Evidently, in North Carolina, quite a few people are fun of OPP. 
And if you don't know what OPP is, that means other people's, you know what. Anyway, a North Carolina woman was recently arrested for assault with a deadly weapon after she called her boyfriend cheating at a family dollar in Thomasville, North Carolina. You already know one thing about Thomasville. It goes down in Thomasville. And also at family dollar. Let me tell you this right here. Look here. If you catch your spouse doing any damn thing, and if they had a family dollar, wait till they leave the family dollar because you don't know what's going to take place at the family dollar. It's more than cheap products. And uh, guess what? It might be just an ass whooping waiting on you. Anyway, let's continue. Now, the story goes on to say the beat mob sent in a video that shows a woman fighting with a man she is in a relationship with. And the man go by the name of what? Yes, no good, Joshua Dumas. And the story also goes on to say that we have learned that the woman Dumas is brutally assaulted as Whitney and Nicole Dow in the streets say they do this carrying on all the time. Now, that's sad when the streets say that. You get what I'm saying? That's sad when the streets put your business out there. But guess what, though? If you want to hear anything about anybody, some dirt, some low-down, juicy details, guess what? You go to the church house first because the church is very messy also. And also, then you go to the streets. But if you want to know who's cheating on who and who's with who and who's doing what and whose son is around there selling drugs and whose daughter around there selling cat, guess what? The church house knows everybody's damn business. Anyway, they made somebody mad. So let's continue. Now, North Carolina B goes on to say, our concern was that Dumas was squaring up with this woman assaulting her as if she were a man in front of her child. And guess what? Whitney and Nicole Dow handled her business and she stood there just knuckling up and she was taking them punches. That's how you know they've been fighting because when he was hitting her, she was just balling up like this. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that uh Floyd Mayweather shoulder roll thing they do. You get what I'm saying? Like when they get hit, they'll roll their shoulder to the side. That's how you deflect the punch. You get what I'm saying? So if somebody's swinging at you, guess what? You just throw that shoulder right there and hopefully they won't pop the hell out your damn jawbone or your ear. But hopefully they might hit your damn shoulder area and that punch will roll off. And that's exactly what Whitney Nicole Dow was doing. Girl, you've been watching boxing, huh? Anyway, I guess so. You got a cheating boyfriend. And the story goes on to say, and the fact that Whitney did not have any regard for her child witnessing all of this. Now, that's my main problem next to the man hitting you. You get what I'm saying? Is the fact that, look here, we cannot tell grown folks what to do. Even when you make videos, you give your opinion. Basically, what we are saying is this is what you should do. Not saying this is what you have to do. But at the same time, grown folks is going to do what grown folks do. But anytime, anytime you have a child, though, guess what? It should be everybody concerned. And my main thing is this right here also, other than the child's witnessing all this mess, and then also the uh, no good boyfriend pulling out a gun while the child was there, is the fact that all those people that was there at the store, eight, nine people that was at the store. There's a baby right there. There's a kid oh my right God. there. There's a kid right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me get the baby. Come here, baby. Hey. Your baby right there. Oh, shoot. Stop. Your hey, baby, baby right there. Right your baby's right there. Stop. Somebody go grab the kid. Now, one person had a damn idea, an inkling of a thought. Yes, an inkling of a thought to call 911 or call the police. Let me tell you a little bit about Trey. As soon as I see some mess going down, guess what? 911, 911. I got about three or four cell phones. And guess what? I'm going to dial 911 on all of them. Make sure every last cop get there that they can. You call me a snitch all you want to. Guess what? I just call doing the public a huge favor. Anyway, let's close up because somebody really got mad at that. Now, the North Carolina beat goes on to say domestic violence is real. Yes, because I've been doing stories on it for years now. But why continue? Let me ask you all this, ladies. But why continue engaging with a violent, cheating man? That's why I want to know right there. Why in the hell would you waste your time with a loser like this? And I don't care how good a person look. And Joshua Dumas, I don't judge men, but guess what, though? That's a tough face, boy. That's only a face a mama can love. But at the same time, Whitney and Nicole Dow, you would think, you would think, like the old school song said, you would think that you would know by now. And speaking of songs, you know, Joe have a song. I love this song. It called All the Things Your Man Won't Do. Joe started off when he says, Tell me what kind of man would treat his woman so cold. Treat you like you're nothing when you're worth more than gold. But guess what, though? It's up for you to see that. It's up for you to see that you're worth more than gold. And then when you realize your worth, guess what? You're going to do better. You're going to demand better. You're going to want better. At the same time, ask yourself this right here. Don't you think you deserve better? Don't you think your child deserves better? Why sit up here and engage in some mess like this and then have it broadcasted all over the damn internet? Anyway, let's close up. Now, for those who are wondering where this family dollar is located at, they say this family dollar is located on a national highway. So guess what? If your spouse is cheating, they might be over at the national highway. But my thing is this right here. Who is working at this family dollar with all this damn cheating? And like I said, did Joshua Dumas come to the store with the female or was he messing with somebody that worked there? He probably was messing with somebody that worked there and Whitney popped up. And guess what, Whitney? Look here. 
I know you probably lost your job. You probably, uh, you know, having to pay some money back. But guess what? I'm looking for like five security guards. I don't need no men. I just need some women, some big husky women. And I'm not trying to call you a big girl. I'm not trying to clown or anything like that because this is very serious. But I'm getting ready to do my meet and greets very soon. And I need five guards. Yes, I need five linebackers. Not linebackers like the football team, but I need linebackers. And that means a woman with a heart of a line, but built just like a linebacker that played for the NFL like Jerome Bettis. Or Ray Lewis. That's exactly what I need. So if you fit that description and you want to make some money, guess what? Come work for your boy. Because the way you was handling your business in that video, you taking them punches and throwing them punches back, guess what? We can use a few good, not a few good men, but we can use a few good women like you. Because girl, you bout it about it. Anyway, and I want to make sure I leave this with you all, is that we teach people how to treat us. You get what I'm saying? So the first time somebody cheat on you, if you don't correct it, I ain't talking about correcting it for it's jumping on them. Because remember this, People are with you for a choice. You cannot force grown folks to love you. You cannot force a grown person to do a damn thing. But what you can force and demand from them is respect and love. And if they can't love you and respect you, guess what? Get them the hell out of your face. That's what I mean by that. Because we teach folks how to treat us. Now look here. The first time this guy cheated on you, the first time that he tried to assault you, because it's not the first time if y'all carry on like this in public. But like I said, you have a child and you should think more about your child and ask yourself this right here. Would you want your child, would you want your grandchildren seeing your child carry on like this with somebody? And if you come to that conclusion, yes or no, please act upon it. But you have to demand better. And if they can't give you better, guess what? You drop that zero and get you a hero. Because I don't understand what's wrong with people. And like I'm going to say this right here from what the video shows, it shows him pulling the gun. So how did Whitney Nicole Dow, the woman that's getting beat in the video, how did she get charged with assault with a deadly weapon unless she took that weapon and woke Joshua Butt out? Unless she took that weapon and beat the side chick up. That's what I want to know right there. So anybody that knows what really took place for is her being charged with this assault with a deadly weapon because the video don't show that, please hit me up in the comment section or hit me up in the email and let me know really what all took place. Anyway, I'm going to tell you all this right here. Demand better. Don't fight somebody who don't give a damn about you. What you do is you turn your back on them and walk straight forward and don't look back. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me. We can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.